guy, howdy, and welcome back to another episode of World Bigfoot Quick shot of camp before we head up to the dolmen, the evergreen dolmen found by the man, the myth, the legend, Hawk. Quick view of the now smoky boulder batholith where these dolmens are located. Just a short side drive out of Boulder, Montana. So this is not evergreen dolmen. This has been dubbed by Hawk as the Mediation Stone. It's not quite a dolmen, but it still has a very interesting capstone, still precariously balanced up there. After this, we're gonna trudle on over to the Evergreen Dolmen. Here we have a nice, narrow, dolmen-esque hallway that Hawk is going to attempt to climb through. It actually looks fairly wide. You probably can't see that on the GoPro. And it sounds like we're going to get thundered on. Looks reminiscent of a stairway. That didn't look too bad. And we're through. Very cool structures out here. This is the bottom view, which as you can see, as the tunnel continues all the way through Hawk feels fine after passing through it given the various rumors around dolmens associations with the little people potential gateways and portals we started getting some inclement weather so we're getting some pretty high winds while we're out here videotaping this for you guys after this we're gonna go on over to Evergreen here we go through the dark dolmen, that is actually easier than getting up through where we came down. It's pretty tight and narrow. I'm doing this with a tripod and my battle axe in hand. So it's gonna be interesting. At this point, I'm crawling out the end. Hawk pointed out another cool facet of this whole area. So 
So we're on the back side of the Evergreen Dolmen, admiring this. We saw this interesting bit of graffiti. Thought somebody might like to see it. Don't know if you can hear that rumble of thunder in the background, but I have a suspicious feeling it's gonna be a long night tonight. So yep, saw this. Don't know what you guys want to make of it. I think this bit looks like somebody walking, but there may be some deeper meaning here that I don't know, so. All right, going around to the front now. Here we have one side of the Evergreen Dolmen, boasted by some as the largest dolmen in North America. I don't have a tape measure big enough to measure that. As you probably hear in the background, the thunder and lightning is getting closer. Now we're going around to the front. Probably give you guys a shot of us walking through it. And of course, it looks much cooler from the front. Don't know if this is going to pick this up, but you can hear that thunder rolling closer. All right, we're going to go down and in without breaking my neck, hopefully. Here we are at the inside of the Evergreen Dolmen. It's got a pretty hefty capstone on it. Some pretty precariously steep walls there. Some very clean cuts. I don't know if you can tell with the video, but that is a very straight angle there. We have another one here right where my feet are. Almost like the stone was split off or cut off. It's definitely interesting. I don't think it's going to be worth my time to go down that way. But, I'll give you guys a good pick of that. I know sky, dark the sky seems, but uh, I'm trying to feel some raindrops. Giving you a weather broadcast as well as some sights of the dolmen. Well, the rain finally caught us. Admittedly, it looks nice, it smells nice. I'm trying to navigate this craggy ridge to the front of the dolmen. This is the so called Thunderbolt. During a thunderstorm. And we're gonna pan around to the front. All right. There's the front side of the evergreen dolmen. As you can see, it's raining. Pop up your old tripod here. Okay. It's pretty big on the inside. Thunderclap. That's the Evergreen Dolmen. We're going to go back to camp, hope this passes, and dry back out. There's a fire ban in Montana right now. We're not going to be using a fire for that. So now, well, you can see him up there. There's Hawk.
quick shot of the area here before we take back off. It's kind of got a misty tinge to it. Got below, it got pretty cold last night. I could see my breath a couple times. Other than that, no any real episodes of high strangeness. It was pretty standard camping trip. But there's a lot up here to explore. I'm sure you can get a lot farther in this area, maybe get into something a little more crazy.